Hey guys, uh, Jerry here from Android Central. It is my day off and it is raining, so I can't go fishing. Well, I, I guess I could go fishing, but I'm not going to go fishing because I don't want to get wet. But anyway, I needed something to do, so I decided I was going to install a couple of these Wemo light switches. You can see them right here. Uh, they're kind of like regular light switches, but they're kind of fancy and the cool part is is they're uh, Wi-Fi connected and you can control them with your Android phone. Uh, what kind of AC editor would I be if I didn't have light switches that I could control with my phone, right? So anyway, we hooked them up. Nobody got electrocuted and I guess that's a good thing. But anyway, uh, you know, we want to show how they work a little bit and let you all check it out. So have a look. Hey everybody, Jerry here, and like I said, we're gonna check out the, you know, the Wemo app and the switches and everything, but, you know, we'll start, we'll take a, a good look at the app here. It's pretty basic, you fire it up, and this is what you'll get. This shows the two switches I've installed. You can also get switches with a motion controller, you know, a motion detector, not controller, or plugs that you can switch individually. I went with the switches because, the, I'll be honest, because I want to be able to lay in bed and turn the light on and off. I'm not going to lie. That's, come on, that's cool. Anyway, I've got two switches here. You can see the one in the office. That's where I'm working now. It's on. Tap that and it goes off. You probably can't tell because I've got all sorts of other lights on, but now it's on. Uh, the bedroom. Nobody in the bedroom. Uh, maybe the dog's in there. Let's scare him. Uh, he didn't bark. He must not be in there. But that's it. The more switches you have, the more you'll have in here. Uh, there's a few different options. You go in here, uh, you can edit your device. You know, let's let's say the bedroom. If I wanted to change that to uh, Jerry's Master Parlor or whatever, I could change the name. Icons, uh, they're not yet, custom icons are not yet supported in this app. It just, if you click it, it tells you as much. Custom icons are not currently supported. Maybe one day uh, I can live with an icon of a light switch that's supposed to be a light switch. I'm okay with that. But anyway, uh, cancel that. I don't want to change the name. Here's the bad part about the app. It's, it takes a few seconds, sometimes even longer, to get back to find your switches. You know, it's, it's a new app. Let's, let's give it a little bit. Uh, other options and settings. Uh, you can set up another device if I if I buy another switch and I plan on it. These are cool. I can go through and set it up without erasing anything I've got here. Uh, set up remote access. I've got it set up. Uh, you know, this is the wire my wireless network at home that the switches are on. Uh, this phone is connected, and you know I can use this phone from anywhere, anywhere with a Wi-Fi connection or a cellular connection, and. I've got my other Nexus set up where I could use it remotely too because, you know, heaven forbid I would lose one Nexus and the other Nexus wouldn't work to control my light switches when I'm not at home. Never mind. I hooked it up too because I wanted to see how it would work. But that's remote access. If you've got 10 different Android devices, you can set up all 10 if you like. That's that. And maybe this will, yeah. See, that's what I meant. It takes a while sometimes, and that's not the best experience, but it's not too awful. What else you got here? Connect to if it. Uh, ooh, that's a whole nother post, and that's, you, you take the badass level to like level nine plus. You can connect it to if it through the web, and if you're familiar with if it, that means you can make your lights blink when it's Tuesday, the 3rd of March, or just about anything. I. I get Phil to put one of these at his office and use if it and next time he starts to yell at me I can shut his computer off or all sorts of crazy stuff but that's a little beyond the scope of this we're just kinda of looking at how they work in the app but I think I'm gonna play with that and we'll revisit when I do uh, tell us what you think the help center we'll go ahead and tap that that's just a quick shortcut to their web page gives you a little bit of troubleshooting tips and you know, support articles. To be honest, I didn't need any. The the setup, uh, I was gonna unset them up and show you, but it's it's simple. You just stand next to the switch, start the app, it tells you to change Wi-Fi, and you know, directly connect to the switch, 
you do that, press one button, and it's done. So it's, it's not worth even turning them off to, to show it because there's nothing to it. Big props to them for that. It works really well, and the setup is easy, and that's important. Uh, what else is kind of cool here is the rules. Let's see if we can get this to switch over. Like I said, sometimes this app lags around a little bit, so let's wait and see. Yeah, we're going to edit the crap out of this because it's, like, taken forever. For ever. There it went. <coughs> Had to give it a little bit. Like I said, the app has a little bit of weirdness going on, and let's hope they address that. But this is, I can automate it a little bit. Uh, I've got two switches, so you can set the switches by time. I can set them to. Let's say I pick my bedroom switch, pick the bedroom, I can tell it to turn on, save that, and when I want it to turn on, uh, 6 o'clock at night, that works for me, days, Monday and Friday, save, and save. And then I give it a name, you know, whatever, that works for me too. Save it, and now it's 6 o'clock on Monday and 6 o'clock on Friday, my bedroom light will turn on. I don't know how useful that can be, but I'm sure you can think of something useful, uh, yeah, maybe for your front porch light, which is where I plan on putting in the next one of these. Uh, 9 o'clock through the summer, the porch light turns on, just in case I'm out or somebody wants to come visit. Uh, make another rule shuts off at midnight because if you come by my house after midnight I don't want to see you so I don't need to have the light on stuff like that that's kind of neat it's it's built in let's go back if you have cancel that and cancel that if you have one with a motion detector you can tell it what to do when it detects motion uh, and then other options, I'm sure, if you have a plug or a switched interface, that's not a light switch. But with the light switches, you can tell it to turn on or off by time, and that's pretty slick. Let's go back to the devices and see how long it takes to find them this time, and not too long. And that's about it. There's nothing fancy. It all works fine, which we're going to look at here in a second. I like things that aren't really super fancy and work really well, so I'm digging this, and... You know, well, let's have a look at how it works, and I think you'll dig it too. We'll be right back. That is the light switch in my office. It looks like a regular light switch. Well, it looks like a fancy light switch that fancy people would have, but other than that, it looks kind of like a light switch. Anyway, it's a light switch. Uh, you notice it has a little LCD, LED, some sort of D, display that little black circle on the bottom that gives you a on or off icon uh, right now it's off so it's not lit up when it turns on in the dark you can see that it's lit up green with a little power indicator uh, enough yammering that's it the switch if you want the switch to turn on and off with your phone you just pull up your phone and you tap that little button and the switch came on uh, off on off on and yes I have been sitting here doing this for hours this afternoon uh, don't judge if you buy these you'll do the same thing uh, my wife thinks I'm crazy you might think I'm crazy but I'm gonna tell you off on off on gives you a special feeling you can't get any other way uh, I you know I can point the camera at the light and show you the bulb going on and off but Trust me, it looks just like a light bulb going on and off. There is really nothing out of the ordinary or out of the way here, and that's what makes it so great. Uh, if you want to be the ultimate nerd, geek, light switch guy, something, uh, you can pick these up. We'll have a link where you can buy them. Uh, if you don't know a little bit about being an electrician, don't install them yourself because, you know, you could die from this stuff. I don't want you to die. I want you to hang around and read the stuff I write at Android Central for a little while. 
But anyway, I will have a, a link set up where you can buy them and a bunch of pictures and this video. And for now, I am going to sit here and go off, on, off, on until my fingers get tired just because I can. I'll talk to you guys later, man.